Praise the Lord. Parable of the lost coin. This is um, Luke, the 15th chapter, and verses uh, 8 through 10. You got it? Mm -hmm. It says, Or suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until what? She finds it. Until right. she finds it. She searches until yeah. she finds it. Extremely important. Mm -hmm. And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Mm -hmm. In my clickers. Battery is dead. There we go. So in this um, in this quick parable, uh, we've got a few parallels. We've got the lost coin and the sinner. We've got the found coin and the repentance sinner. We've got joy amongst the friends when the coin has been found, and joy in heaven when the sinner repents. We've got the coin and the sinner having great value to the owner. And the reason that we know it had great value because they searched until yeah, they found that's it. Right. They didn't just blow it off, uh, you know. Right. Yeah. I guess I don't know where it's at. <laughs> no, they, they searched yeah. until it was found. found. There was yeah. diligence yes. in the, the seeking after. Yes. There was yes. diligence in trying to find the thing yeah. that has been lost. Right. Um, mm -hmm. The owner searches high and low until it is found. And so it's not just valuable to someone else. It's valuable to the owner. Yeah. 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 Belongs to me and it's mine and I want it back. Yeah. Yeah. The ultimate goal is restoration. Yes. Yeah. The reason for the searching was to bring that thing back into place where it was supposed to be. That's yeah. right. It's not supposed to be lost. It's supposed to be with me. I had 10 before. I want 10 again. Yeah. <laughs> you was with me before. I want you with me again. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I got you. <laughs> we have to ask ourselves. You, you, you got the clicker? Huh? You got the click for me? I, I got you. Okay, got thank you. you. Um, we have to ask ourselves, um, is this thing lost or hiding? And the reason for that is because you have to look at the parallel of the parable. If the end result was that in heaven there was rejoicing, then the parable, I mean the, the parallel of who the owner of the coin was in the earth realm was the woman. But who's the owner of the coin? Yeah. Wow. It's got to be God, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's got to be God. Yes. yes. And so, do you think that God can lose something? My God. In John 18, didn't Jesus say, God, I ain't lost not one that you have given me? Not one. We done gone through a whole bunch, and I ain't lost not one disciple. It says, say Judas is scared, but he's a son of perdition. He's supposed to be gone. We're talking about those who desire to be here. Right. So God is not losing anything. So you have to really ask yourself, is the coin lost or is it hiding? Look in Genesis, the third chapter, the sixth verse. Amen. We got to go quick. I ain't got a lot of time. Y'all there? I'm going to keep reading. Verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she made a mistake. She erred in her judgment. <laughs> she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband, rascal, with her and he did eat. <laughs> Verse 7. And the eyes of them both were open and they knew that they were naked. And they sew fig leaves together and made themselves aprons, trying to hide their nakedness. Mm -hmm. And verse 8 says, And when they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and, in the, uh, and Adam and, and his wife Eve hid themselves right. from the presence of the Lord amongst the trees of the garden. Mm -hmm. Something had happened. They erred in judgment. Sin took place. God tried to come and see where they were at. And they hid yeah. themselves. Oh Were they lost? No. No, they weren't lost. No. They knew exactly where God was, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. They heard him walking through the garden. They knew which direction he was coming from. Yeah. Yeah. God, you know what direction God is coming from. Because you know where you didn't see him. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't, ain't, ain't no 
no doubt where God wants to restore you at. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know how God is coming to you yes. because you know what you have done. Yes. But you hide yourself oh my God. so that you don't have to face the consequences. Yes. So that you don't have to face those things yes. that are going to uh, make you be a little uncomfortable. We've got reasons for hiding. you got shame. you got pain. you got fear. you got disappointment. How many times... You know, you know, done something you know you had no business yeah. doing. I, I just use me for example, so that way you aren't picking up nobody. <laughs> there have been times that I have not even wanted to look myself in the face while yeah. I brush my teeth. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I brush my teeth with my head down because I don't want to look at me. My mind. I'm so shamed. Come, Come on. on, yeah. Mm, my God. I ain't praying. Come on now. I know I ain't praying. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't want to look at me, you know I don't want to look at God. Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> and unless you want them fake folk <laughs> that can just go through the ritual of prayer. Uh oh. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're praying, you're in the presence of the Lord. That's it. <sighs> and you've got bigger problems. If you can live a lifestyle that's foul and still pray. My, my. <laughs> yeah. You got huge problems. If, if you can be foul and know you foul mm. and still go through the process, yeah. I got to get up early because I got to make sure I pray. Get right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. right. Get yourself together yeah. first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to go into prayer, go into repair, uh, yeah. repenting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's right. Pain, stuff that, that happened to you. I was molested as a child. And there are things that, that you know, this, this woman was trusted in my family. Yeah. She, 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 was, she was, you know, my babysitter. She had no business touching on me. And as I got older, I found out that, man, that caused some pain in yeah, my life. Yeah. Fear, disappointment. How many times... I, ain't, I don't really have a lot of time. Um, but I want to say this about disappointment because disappointment is something that we have, everybody ain't been molested, everybody ain't been right. raped, everybody haven't been, but everybody has been disappointed. Yes, everybody. yes, yes. Everybody has had something that they had an expectation that they thought that this was going to happen, and then they looked up and it didn't happen, and it brought about a cowering down. Like, yes, God, yes. I thought this was what it was going yes. to be, and now it's not this, yeah, God. And so because of that, you hide yourself. Yeah. 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 Instead of being in the presence of God and going to him and getting what it is that you're supposed to get from the creator, from he who has what you need, you hide yourself. It's yeah. good. You become this lost coin. Good stuff. Good stuff. In the parable, it talks about the coin. But there was a reasoning behind there being ten coins. Yeah. And if those that Jesus was speaking to understood what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. The custom was that when a person got married, if you could afford it, that there would be a necklace that was given mm -hmm. for a married woman. And it would have ten drachmas or coins in it. And inside that necklace, it represented wealth. Right. Yeah. 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 For the married woman. Yeah. Yeah. And the desire to keep the necklace whole was paramount because it represented who she was. It gave a, a um, validity. It gave statue for who she was. And so if one of those coins was to fall out, Mama. How crazy is that going to look? Oh, my God. You can't wear that to the ball. Yeah. You yeah. can't be looking all crazy with yeah. an old lost coin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I seen brothers with uh with big watches that didn't have no batteries and you asked what time it was. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, you know that watch that had no batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Remember them, uh, them gold tone hair pin chains? <laughs> Not gold, gold tone. <laughs> you wore it one too many times. <laughs> you got that little green on your neck. Look <laughs> at crazy. Same thing. Look how beautiful that necklace is. Yeah. What if that one to the upper left third down <laughs> was missing? Mm -hmm. Isn't that going to look bad? Yeah. That's how you look. 
when you have things in your life, you have holes in your character. Mm -hmm. Things have happened to you that you have not gotten addressed. Mm -hmm. See, the, the molestation in my life had a hole in me. Yeah. Mom. Mom. And if I didn't get it addressed, if I didn't search high and low to get that coin that was taken from me, the missing, if I didn't get that put back in place, I was going to keep looking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out. And so what happens is, um, you go through things in your life, and for whatever reason, you've got these holes. Yeah. Come on, come on. Disappointment. Yeah. Bad marriage. Mm -hmm. Wayward children. Mm -hmm. People looking at you like, mm hmm. Yeah. And you, your necklace mm -hmm. that is supposed to represent you as a married woman, mm -hmm. the bride of Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so sideways and backwards looking because you've got these holes. Yeah. And God's desire for you is for you not to have a hole in your necklace, yeah. but for the necklace to be whole. Yeah. Come on, come on. For to have everything that's supposed to be in it. So when you have issues in your life, when you have things that are going on in your life, and, and you just keep going on about everyday business, yeah. Then the scriptures say that the woman searched diligently yes, yes, yes. until the coin was found. Yes. Yes. She didn't stop searching. So, to an uh, uh, introspection, <coughs> look at your life right now, right now, yeah. and look for the holes in your neck. That's good. My, my. Yeah. Come on. And you don't get to just look. You don't just get to keep going business as usual. God is calling for you to be whole yes. today. Hallelujah! Keep searching. Listen, listen, stop clapping. God is calling for you to be whole today. You can't just keep going by, you know, life day after day after day after day, and you know you got this junk in your life, you got this, yeah. this missing coin in your drachma. Mm. You know you jacked up. You know you got a hole. Mm -hmm. You got to search diligently, mm -hmm. day in and day out, until you find that coin, mm -hmm. until you find that thing that makes you whole. Click that for me, bro. You got to go. Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the 16th verse says, For him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as, a, as each part does its work. The body itself is one unit. And if any part of your body is not functioning properly, the whole body is affected. Come on. That's right. The whole body. So if any part of you is not whole, just because it's one coin, don't well, I got nine. No, you need ten. The reason you need ten is because God gave you ten. And it's obvious that he, you need it when he gave you so that you can function wholly. So you can function properly. So find where the coin is missing, man. Click it. Be made whole. First Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24 says, Now may the God of peace himself yeah. sanctify you completely. completely. Yeah. Yeah. And may your whole spirit, My your God. whole yes. soul, yes. your whole body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord oh. Jesus Christ. Where you get it from? He who calls you is faithful. Oh who will also do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Just because you've been looking, see what happens is, you just give up. Yeah. I searched for my keys for a long time one day, and I needed to go to work. I could not find my keys. I looked and looked and looked for about 30 minutes. And I said, you know what? I don't really want to go to work today. 
Lazy. What you say it was? Lazy. Lazy. <laughs> I didn't really want to go to work anyway. So I searched, I did my due diligence, I looked and looked. Hey man, um, I ain't gonna do it. I mean, thank you. I'm gonna work on all that. Yeah, I would have got back under the covers. <laughs> now, if I really wanted them keys, what would I have done? Kept searching. I kept looking for the keys. Right. I would have called and said, hey, you know what? I can't find my keys right now. I'm gonna be a little late, but I'm gonna keep looking. Right. Yeah. See, sometimes. We do our due diligence. Lord, help me. Lord, I need to be healed from this. God, deliver me. That's it. And then you go on about your business. Yeah. And the very thing that had you kept looking for, because I found the keys. Yeah. So that means I could have found them that day, couldn't I? That's right, yeah. If I had kept looking, you know why I found them? Because I wanted to go somewhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go somewhere. So I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. There they are. Start going through the process of elimination. Okay, I had on my Levi's yeah. and I had on yeah. my Levi's. Yeah. And I came upstairs and I start going back through the recesses. Yeah. You gotta go through the recesses of your mind yeah. and find where did I lose this form? How did this happen to me? What did this man do to me that caused me to be so bitter and so angry? How is it that my personality is so caustic that don't nobody want to be around me? Where did this come from? Go back and find your coin. God. And if you really want it, if you truly looking for it, you'll find it. <laughs> but it can't be that you just doing it for I service. It gotta be because you sincerely want your coin. You sincerely desire to be whole in the Lord. Amen? And so my desire for you today, brothers and sisters, is that you be made whole. That you look and you find wherever your lost coin is so that you can be a whole drop. Properly represent uh, your husband as the body of Christ and as the bride of Christ. Amen? Love you.